gonna work on the solar. Gotta get a better step stool. <laughs> hey, this is Gary Schultz from Cyclone Vans. And Lila. We're gonna do uh, solar today. So uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back. the uh, 8020 I couldn't get it in uh, in black I could get it if I wanted to wait till the end of summer <laughs> It'd be kind of a long time to wait so I just painted it with the rest of him it should be fine so I'm, I'm putting that together today uh, here's the box of stuff I got the the MPPT solar controller here. They sent some cables with these panels, which I don't think are probably long enough. They sent these guys, which go from panel to panel. They're probably not long enough either. Brackets, so I got tons of brackets that I don't need here. Which is fine. I just got back from Home Depot and I bought this uh, Diablo metal cutting blade. It'll cut uh, laminates and non-ferrous metals, which is perfect for aluminum. And uh, so I'll put that into my saw and uh, and we'll cut some, we'll cut these extrusions down to be the right size. And I think I have exactly the amount I need here. Um, just a few little cutouts, so let's go for it. is a 90 tooth blade I believe and 96 teeth and it's made for cutting ferrous metal so um, I don't think you want to use your wood blade on this stuff but this stuff cuts like butter when you use the right blade here I can't believe how good this cuts This piece goes right here, same deal, slide it on, screw it in, done deal. I have to touch up some paint on these at the end. So the question is, because this sticks out this far, you cut it that much short? You know what I mean? Nobody's going to see on the road. Or you let it, uh, or you have it hang out like that. Like that. Or do we push it, cut it off a little bit short, and pull it in? Let's just do it. I'm going to leave it on the outside like we just had it. Yeah, I think you're being too picky. All right. Originally, I had bought some L pieces to go in those corners. I don't need those. I don't. Why would I need them? I don't see why you need them. Did it come with the holes already drilled? Oh no, I drilled all these holes. Did you drill enough? Huh? Do you want more holes drilled to make it even more stable? I think that's enough. I'm just amazed that it's working as well as it is, you know, it's like, shh. Okay, 
so I've got it all wired. It's in series, so that's plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus, all the way down. And then you can see I've got it all kind of cable tied in place here. I really don't want this to rattle around on the roof as I'm going down the road at 70 miles an hour. And then right here, I just connected it to the tube. And then this add-on panel that's going to be in front of the um, Max Air fan will just plug in right here and I'll strap that on at the end. Now they don't sell end-to-end -end connectors, so I made my own right here out of uh, just a piece of strap metal from Home Depot and um, this metal came black. So I'll put one on the top and one on the bottom. Right now I've just got the one on the top because it just seems easier to put it together and I can put the one on top later. Bottom. I gotta make sure I get the nuts in there before I bolt it in. But anyway, that's kind of the plan with this front panel. I have to put the uh, cable gland in yet through the roof. I've got that marked. and uh, But I don't think these will rattle. Maybe I'll tie this one down here, but I think they're pretty good, you know. These all seem pretty good. So the cable gland's going right here. So that should just plug in, you know, on the roof. So, you know, when you go plus minus, plus minus all the way down, you get to the end and um, you've got to come all the way back. So this cable here coming down and all the way down to the end here is an extension cable that I bought on, it's a um, I Greeley extension cable I bought it online. That brings it all the way back. So you go plus minus uh, and then plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, all the way down. And then back all the way down. So <laughs> in the end, wired in series. Just paint the edges. Keep the rust off. It's a little rust oleum here. Just a little bit of 3M VHB, I think, around the edge here. And we're going to slap a bunch of <laughs> die core around this anyway, so. So you can kind of see how these brackets worked out. It's perfect. And then I'll put a link below for those. Here's my little splice that I did. I just put a plate on the top and a plate on the bottom and some uh, regular screws that come with the 8020 and, and that sucker's tight. It's not going anywhere. And you can see there's our max fan and there's the rest of the panels. They're in, man. They are in. So there's a total of three brackets on here. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It doesn't look, you can see it's pretty damn low profile. It looks pretty good from the ground. You can't hardly see it. So we're happy. I'm putting this uh, cap on here. I already got it on the top. 
but I'm also putting it in on the sides just to keep the rainwater and ice out of the track. Uh, and I just think it looks nicer, you know? So we'll get that installed. So you can see this stuff just literally presses in here. My dumb thumb. So you can see it just looks a lot better with that on there. It doesn't look bad, really, from the ground. You barely see the thing. So, show you from the front here. Now remember, the van's up on a hill, so, but it's not that noticeable, really. I mean, it looks like a roof rack, I guess, but pretty nice. Hey, thanks for watching our video about our solar panels. We're pretty happy with how it all went down and uh, it's up there. Um, so we'll see you next time. This is Gary Schultz from Cyclone Vans. And Lila, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.